Hey, so I get a lot of people ask me from time to time how I run my cold email campaigns as a digital marketing agency. So I wanted to make this video to show you exactly how I do it and how you can send tens of thousands of emails without getting sent to spam and booking hundreds of meetings with prospective clients. So the first thing I wanna make clear is that I run everything from my actual Gmail account. So I don't need any other fancy type of software that takes me outside of Gmail. In fact, the software that I use is called Gmas and it integrates perfectly with Gmail. This is what the Gmas website looks like. You just go to gmas.co and once you're inside gmas.co, you go to the pricing page here and you can sign up. You can also, and this is something they don't really advertise and something I figured out a little bit too late, was that you can actually do what's called a cold email warm up before you even pay for their product. And this is, this is the most important thing that people usually forget about because when you are starting a cold email campaign, you're gonna need to give it at least you know, three weeks, two or three weeks before you can actually start sending anything. The first thing that I'll do is I'll go inside the email that I'm writing from. And as you can see, once you attach GMAS to your email, it'll actually show up here as an extension. You'll have three distinct tabs. Uh, one is how you connect an email list in a Google Sheet. The other is how you send the follow-up emails. The other is actually how you launch the campaigns and you can see the statistics of the campaigns inside the dashboard. So if I'm inside of GMAS and I've successfully installed it, the first thing I'm gonna go do for a new domain is I will go here, I'll click onto uh, settings, I'll do email warm up, and then I'll actually just warm up the campaign. You just do this, yes, turn it on. Once it's turned on, it'll start to actually send emails on a regular basis. You can see the statistics of your campaigns that are being warmed up and everything will run smoothly. Now, one thing that a lot of people forget about or they, they do an error is they will still run emails from their main email. I think that's a huge mistake. Uh, the reason I think this is because most of the large email marketing campaigns you see that are cold uh, usually set up an alternate domain. And the way you set up an alternate domain is you go to, well, what I recommend you do is you go to Google Cloud Domains. So now I'm inside of the Domains tab. I have a couple of different domains being warmed up right now. Um, and all you have to do is you go to get a new domain. And then once you're in here, you just type in whatever you want. So you can say golfballs.com. Uh, if you're a golf ball marketing uh, company, right? Send, and then you'll be able to actually buy it. It's super cheap. This one's really ex actually an expensive domain, so I wouldn't do that. You can buy any one that you want uh, here as well. So, I mean, there's really nothing stopping you from getting a domain for like $12 a year, uh, setting that up, and it needs to be an alternate domain. That's the key. It can't be your main email domain. So once you've gotten that, then you're ready to go start sending emails. And then once you've warmed this up, typically you wanna wait for about, until it's, once you get to about like 50 emails sent per day, is typically the right amount for the email warm up. So I give about two to three weeks. And so that's gonna dramatically shoot up the rate at which you can send emails and people will see them. But one thing to think about is you wanna use this tool called Glock Apps to check to see if your email is ready to actually be sending um, to ma the masses. So one thing that I do is I will go to Glock Apps. So here's the home page of Glock Apps. It's free to try um, and you can basically pay per test. And so I'll show you what a test looks like and how you do that. But essentially, once you log in, then all you do to test to see if an email campaign has been set up correctly is you go start test, right? You go next. You copy this to your clipboard, and then you just compose an email. You go in here, paste it inside here. You want the subject to be test, right? And then you just grab the seed list, and this is sending out to a bunch of different emails they've already set up to basically test the seed, press send. And then once it's sent, you give it a few minutes. Go view report. And then in a few, uh, seconds or minutes, depending on how fast your browser is and how fast the system is for you, you'll be able to actually see your data. You go to reporting, it'll start to show. Now, the first test you run right at the beginning, it'll actually show a low score and then over time, the percentage will increase. So right now it's showing 3%, but that's definitely gonna go up to about 69%. So let's give it some time here just to warm up. So now, as you can see, I'm up to 62%, which anything above 60% for me means that I can start sending cold email campaigns. Um, but when I go and I actually now start to set up one, what I need to do is I need to go and turn off the actual uh, 
email warm up. So I'll go here, email warm up, and I'll turn it off after it's been set up for a while. It's been running for a few weeks. Um, just uncheck it and then you're good. Uh, and then this will be my main dashboard for all of my statistics. As you can see, and again, this is the key point. The reason why cold email works is and when it does work is when you're giving something away of really high value. So for me, what I do is I will actually do a podcast where I reach out to digital marketing agencies. So my target market is very defined, digital marketing agencies, and I say, hey, Juan, I think that you're a great fit for sharing your experience growing your agency with my podcast audience. We work with these kind of companies. You can find our most recent episode here. Would you like to be on the show? It's free, right? It's a pretty obvious thing to say yes to because they're getting free publicity. So why wouldn't anyone do it, right? So. That's what we do and it works really well. Now, the way you actually set up the campaign is you go into drafts here. And once you're inside drafts, you basically just compose uh, an email. You put in your copy in here and then you can attach the actual list you wanna use from a Google Sheet uh, inside here. You just click this and then you can attach it uh, to any spreadsheet that you want. So here's my small agency outreach. I do that, you can connect to a certain tab. I have different ones going at all times. Now, the way that you wanna set up the actual signature for your campaign is you typically wanna put your name, uh, a link to your website, LinkedIn, and then just keep it simple. I usually avoid putting in things like images into the photo, into the emails, because it kind of throws the person off. Like you don't really wanna do anything like that. Where I would have a really nice image is I would add it here inside your actual email account because that is going to increase your open rate and click-through rate astronomically. So now that you have everything set up for your email, you have a domain that's warmed up, you have copy that's gonna kill it for you, you have all this stuff in place, you're ready to send it. What you wanna do is you wanna click on the GMAS settings here and you're gonna to wanna to set these certain parameters. You can send a test email for you as well. You can personalize the email if you'd like. We do auto follow-ups. I usually do one auto follow-up. I don't do multiple because that kind of throws people off. I'll also schedule it. Uh, usually for 8 a.m. the next day, and I skip weekends. For some reason, this isn't checked, but I'll skip weekends. And then this is important. You wanna put a cap on the amount of emails you send per day. Honestly, I actually would prefer having more emails sending at a time from different names than having more emails sent total per email per day, right? So for instance, like Andrew's email, I don't wanna send 100 per day, mainly because it's harder for me to kind of like oversee that campaign. 25 for me seems to be the right amount. You wanna put a pause in there and then you wanna also verify that you're sending to the right kind of emails because if you're sending to uh, emails that are, you know, spam or something, or they're, they're, they're dead, dead emails or nobody uses them anymore, it's actually gonna hurt your sender score. So I usually do that. You can pause the campaign anytime you want. And then once you're done, you save changes. All you do is you hit that big red GMAS button and you're ready to go, right? And that's all you have to do. So now that you have all that stuff in place, you just sit back and you watch the results come through on the dashboard. Literally, you just go inside here and you can see all these. I usually aim for a 50% plus open rate. Uh, the click-through rate on this campaign is really good. Between all the emails I'm writing it for, it's like an 18 to 20% click-through rate, which is really nice. Uh, an eight to 10% reply rate is honestly what I look for as well. And remember, the key here is to actually have something that is going to kill it in terms of copy. You want people to be really excited about your offer. Remember that the statistics behind it are really just a way to show how much demand there is for what you're offering. Email will not work if you have a very poor offer for your, for your prospects, right? So you need to make sure you experiment multiple times and find the right demographic. For instance, when I was first running these campaigns, I was running into larger agencies and I found out that larger agencies, why they are, they're great posts for the podcast and I have a lot of connections there now I can have them bring back on the show. What I found is that actually, if you aim for the smaller agencies, they're a lot more eager to be on the show because they don't have a lot of opportunities for publicity. So that's been a huge win for our business. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are all my cold email marketing secrets. Please comment below if you have any questions. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel for more content, please do so. Like the video and share it with a digital marketing friend. Also, if you're a digital marketer, you probably need to know how to scale your network and your digital marketing agency through your network. So as another video, I recommend watching this one on how to grow your network, your referral network very quickly and generate over a million dollars in revenue like I have with my business. Thanks for watching.